What's going on guys? Welcome back to another daily YouTube video where we cover the market, our trades and the content by EA. Let's get straight into the content by EA. Today is a Monday and normally that means upgrade packs, not really great content. Uh, we have this Angel Gomez, X-Man United player, 4 star, 4 star. Uh, kind of average looking stats overall but I believe he's just one squad so he should be pretty cheap. He's coming in at a price of at 184 rated squad so that can't be that expensive. Uh, he is coming in at... 55k which isn't too bad but yeah if you think you can get some upgrades and go crazy but for me I'm not really too interested in this card it's not good enough for me good trades though however and maybe maybe he has potential to go further uh next up we do have some content actually for me eh? it's a random daily SPC here which you guys know I never pay attention to and I just skipped over what I was supposed to get to uh the 78 times three triple pack is back and this requires 10 players and only one rare so you can bet gold commons are rising so those of you who invested in gold commons it's a good look every sunday night or monday morning invest in gold commons it seems to go up every single time next up we have 83 times 10 which is back repeatable every single day it has 82 and 84 race squads very cheap not to mention it does give you some packs back this must be coming in at a very cheap price so like 75k i want to say let's take a look at it 72k not even that bad considering you're gonna get 83s back every time and 83s are currently worth um, let's see how much 83 is currently worth. 83s are currently worth 2.5k. The worst case, you're getting 25k back. Absolute worst case. And there's a 70k pack. 70. Realistically, worst case, you lose 45k, which isn't even that bad to do it every day. So I will probably be doing this every single day. I probably recommend you guys do it too. If you want to save it for birthday, go ahead. Um, yeah, you guys know how I feel about saving packs. Not really meant for me. Uh, there were some moves we did make today and I will get into that but first let's look at the promo team and how they rose into Monday. Of course we trade fluctuations around here. So let's look at team 2 for stars. Overall we didn't really see too much movement I would say. A lot of it's come down now as it's 7.30pm UK time on a Monday. Uh, a lot of these cards were higher they've come down. Marcos was like 32k yesterday and has had a massive rise um, and so have some of these other cards here too. This guy's had one of the biggest rises though, to be honest. Up Meccano was the big one today. He got his price range updated. And we're going to take a look at what happened to this card. He went from max price here, or whatever he was. Oh, they actually updated it at that time? Oh, 10 a.m. Yes, of course, of course. That's 10 a.m. He got updated. He went higher. He came down. He went higher. He came down again to 6.95. And now he's 7.35. I have actually picked up quite a few of this card. And we did take this one in the Patreon. It was a risky play before 6 p.m. And uh, it was risky, but I kind of felt quietly confident about it. Oh, there's a thing on my screen. Let me just get rid of that. I was telling people I was selling all my cards today. But yeah, this is one I'm not selling. I really do like this guy at 700k. If you can get him at that price, which I don't think you will, I'm more than happy for you to pick him up. I've got seven at 695k. I'm very happy to hold this all the way through for birthday or even the start for birthday too. Uh, maybe yeah, that's the wrong choice, but I believe this to be the low point. And with Libra being 1.4 mil, and this guy's 700k, it's double the price. I know he's Saliba's Prem and Arsenal look great, but uh, Bayern look great as well. And also more of a guaranteed upgrade in my opinion. However, the links aren't as good. I think he's very undervalued due to his price range. Um, he might even end up going extinct one day. And I plan on holding my 7, so I'm in no, no rush or panic about that. Uh, looking at the rest of the team, we didn't really see much movement. The term was 44, he's coming down. Overall, whatever rise we've seen, they've started to come down. Demarcus had a nice rise. These guards are up nicely. To be honest, Sabastar is actually up slightly well from last night if you take a look right here he was actually 47k and he's all the way up at 55 so that was a nice little dip by but as you guys know i'm not really too keen on these cards I hate all these cards here so many of them are overvalued in my opinion and we have team of the week where we've seen salah have a nice rise he actually got really low last night to 610 and i didn't buy any he's actually 690 he got all the way down to 610 here 615 and i didn't buy any that was a really easy play in my opinion he's 690 this is gonna be incorrect and gone on the game that was a really easy play Griezmann, you all know how I feel about Griezmann. Extremely, extremely good card for laser selling. 32k, 35k, add 5k to whatever you pay. Make 3k per card. I'm going to quickly show you my transfer list just to show you the cards I'm currently trading. And it's going to be more of the same of what you've always seen. Lucas Mora, Phil Foden, Lucas Mora, a Griezmann. It should be... Is there any other expensive cards or is it just these? I have one at all which hasn't sold yet. And that's it really and i'll show you my unassigned right now i have quite a few cards in unassigned 50 cards 
I'm trying to get rid of most of these by the time you guys will have seen this video. I'm just trying to get out the Lucas Morris first of all. Here's some of the upper McConnells I have. You are lost and unassigned. That's just four of them. And there's one in the club and then there's probably two more in the unassigned somewhere. I have kind of these Griezmanns here. I was happy paying 33 in honesty because I know I can sell them for 38k or higher, which I have been doing. Low risk play while we're going to have some panic on the market because I want to be out of most of my cards. Ideally, I want to be out of everything apart from Lucas Moura. We'll have to see because he's laser selling really well. We'll see if I have to panic out of that one, but I definitely would prefer to be out of him. Griezmann, I don't see any need to be out of him. And Foden, ideally, I would like to finally sell the last few just because he's taking a long time to sell now and I'm running out of patience. But yeah, other than that, we can look at some other promos. Uh, Road to the final, of course, we have some cards playing today on Tuesday. Uh, I'm not sure who actually plays, but you can see the hype on some of these Rota finals has completely died down. Like, Barella's only 405k. Miranda is a card I'm very, very interested in later in this week. Hopefully they get knocked out by Man United, and then we can go in again. Because we saw this guy after the first game. He got absolutely destroyed. Very late at night, 44k. And look, he's all the way back at 49k. He was actually higher, 40, 55k. But clearly this card has demand irrespective of him being a live card, so it's a good look. Fana just continues to rise. Fedori is really high again. Nuno Mendes keeps fluctuating. Felipe Anderson is also rising too. Alvin Phillips has finally shown some size, signs of life. It's looking good on some of these cards, but some of them are just completely dead too at the same time. Lucas Moura, is he actually 70k? I haven't seen him at 70k all day. He's 72k. Another really good card to lazy sell all the time. But yeah, in all honesty, Romano is doing really bad since Liverpool lost on the weekend. In all honesty, the best play is to get rid of these expensive cards. Today is currently Tuesday while, I, while you're watching this video. I'm filming this on Monday night. Uh, leaks should start coming through for put birthday and panic should start soon. But be aware, that even with panic, this card can drop 5 to 10k. Any of these cards can drop at least 5 to 10k. But be aware of that and don't be greedy. So cash out when you have profit and I'm very happy with taking profits myself. And I plan on doing so all the time as well. Griezmann is definitely the safest play in terms of a card or an investment to just lazy sell throughout this entire week. In theory, he could rise out of packs too. His 87 is only 20k. Is that really right? I'm sure he was much higher before. Interesting. It was much higher before, so I'm surprised that it's actually so low. Uh, I'm going to take a look on the game for that right now. He's been 25k, so if he is 20k, I'm, I will be picking him up, but I, I highly doubt that's the case. That, this is how you trade a fluctuation, because you just I've been watching this card now because I've been watching the other card. See. So in 20, what has he been? He's been a peak of 25k. I'm looking for 87. Yeah, as you can see, there's no 87. So, so. But Ben obviously lied to me. What's new? There's, as you can see, there's not even a single 87 here. So I got lied to basically. It happens, and that's why you must always check in game because Footbin is not the most up to date. There's the Griezmann, the first one, 24,750, so I would not be doing with that. Or this one, 24,750, no, I would not, because his peak has been 25k. But if I did see a dip like this, or if I really did see any of these two prices, I probably would have bought and lazy sold him, in my opinion. It would be a low risk play, and I'm very happy to do that if that does occur. Marlon is completely dead, I'd stay well away from him. We did see some dips on the Future Stars yesterday, so we'll pull them up really quick. And that was on, Galanga was a bit lower. Um, Vardiol is taking a big hit since um, Makano got his price range update because now we have another centre back to contend with. Kalulu is not really showing any signs of life. This whole team is not really moving. Team 2 Carvalho is flat. Fagioli has recovered quite a bit. Um, Melia has recovered a good few K. And Willock, yeah, in, in general, you can see that the market is kind of flat right now and there's not really too much going on. People are getting ready for the leaks to come through thick and fast for the birthday as this promo team is only in pack for two more days, well, until Wednesday, 6pm. Be ready for more leaks. Madiba has a ton of hype. Arsenal won. Isaac is stead so steadily rising now as well. He's at 310. Sanchez is 7, almost 7, almost 600k now. He's approaching. Fabian continues to rise. Lorient continue Lorient had a crazy rise if you want to have a look at this. He scored two goals apparently on the weekend, all got two assists. And look what happened to this card. Crazy rise. These cards are anything but dead, it seems, even with the panic into new promo. They could all be the move because a lot of them play this week. For example, Newcastle play on Friday. I'm not sure when West Ham play, but they have a chance to get upgrades now, earn upgrades. So there will be hype in the lead up and you want to sell in the hype and then buy back after the game if you really are interested in them. Uh, looking at the other teams though, the rest of this team is, entire team is fodder. You know we don't touch the heroes. Quickly check on the game. Have we got any sales? 
no sales right now but that's probably going to be it my aim is probably going to be to sell most if not all the lucas moros asap because i just got this feeling lucas moros gonna get panic sold when all this new Premier League comes out because everyone's been investing in him for a while so i'm very ready to get rid of lucas mora uh phil foden i just had him for too long so i need to go griezmann i'm in no rush to sell at up meccano i'm i mean we're seeing fantasy team one right we've seen how good the team one is doing center backs for example well the main center back saliba why would up meccano not follow a similar trend potential panic about a new promo but um up meccano is going to be a great card with many upgrades in his future so i'm a strong believer in holding this card how is he moving right now if he comes down to 700k i'll definitely be picking up some more i don't think he will i've got seven i would have liked like to have 15 but it is what it is i don't have the coins ready um, if he comes down to 700k or 695 i'll definitely be picking up more I'm hoping for it i would not count on it mainly due to the reason that these cards go out packed on wednesday so they only have one more day of supply no marquee match of supply this week other than that the plan will be to be liquid and do very low risk trade for the rest of the week as we don't want to uh risk any high budget trades and that's up makano who is my it's going against everything i'm saying i know but i like that card for a long time hold i don't care if he goes low i can keep holding i know he's going to come back yeah other than that thank you for watching like subscribe share the video um make sure you follow my twitch channel link in the description for that and join my free trading discord and my patreon if you want the most premium, premium trades um yeah but other than that thank you for watching like subscribe share the video and i'll see you in the next one tomorrow